Hey guys, today we're playing the subject, which I think is a oh, look at the guy with the bag on his face. Oh, I thought that was like a clay face monster or something, but I think that in the pictures, but it might just be your character with the bag on his face. Okay, so something I need to go into my settings to figure out why this is happening. Apparently, it wasn't doing it before, but it just decided to start doing it. Hmm. Oh well, let's get in there. Sci-fi game? I think first nearly 100 years ago, humanity began to populate the galaxy with an alarming rate. Unable to properly monitor such a widespread population, crime grew out of control. Looking for the fastest solution to a swelling crime epidemic, the government agreed to bids by commercial industry by to police the galaxy. Hundreds of law enforcement companies appeared and began lobbying for some more strict laws to boost prisoner count and profit. Crime plummeted, prisoner occu uh, occupancy soared, and a divide grew between person and prisoner. Average people could be served with massive sentences for even the smallest offense and be treated as subhuman. Population, uh, prison overpopulation quickly became an issue, giving birth to the prisoner auction system as the best way to keep steady prisoner churn and bring in even more money. Prisoners could be bought and used for anything without legal ramifications. You have been purchased, black bagged, and are in transit to an unknown buyer. Transport Ada, this is Kohate Complex receiving. We're seeking a temporary docking pass for the Kohate Complex. We have the next subject for Facility Bravo. Copy. Temporary docking pass approved. Uploading access codes. You are clear for docking procedure. Copy that. We are docked. This is Officer 198, finalizing release orders to Biomass Labs. Shipment 2099. Copy. Releasing the prisoner now. All right, trash. Get up. Bring in the next subject, please. You aren't our problem anymore. Welcome to the Kohate Testing Facilities. You are now the property of Biomass Laboratories. Subject MB-134 of bulk purchase order 2.099. Compliance caller is applied. Downloading biological history. Installing euthanization module. Can we, can we skip that part? Can we just skip that? Nope. Calibration. All systems nominal. Cool, that was the worst sound. Let's skip that one forever now. Let's never go back to that one. Caller diagnostic complete. Thank you. You are free to exit. I don't think I'm free to shit. Compliance caller is successfully applied. MB-134, you have been fitted with a biolink caller and will need to visit an uplink terminal periodically for data collection, or you will be removed from testing by automatic injection. If your time limit becomes low, you will hear this sound. Link terminal in front of you. Time reset. Thank you. Now we need you to perform a simple test before we can move you into the complex. 
this is one of those weird games where when you walk, your character always has to finish their current step. So like when I'm when I stop moving is not when I stopped pressing W. I've always pressed stopped pressing it sooner than that, and it kind of keeps going for a while till you he audibly f makes another step and then he stops. It makes f movement feel super weird. System offline. Please power on. I'm going to die, aren't I? Please find the three data switches to activate the elevator panel. Like around the room? This is going to be one of those things. Alright, so I'm expendable. So they just throw me straight into a puzzle. Or straight into. That was over here. They throw me straight into these kinds of things. Just you just gotta deal with whatever the fuck people tell you to do, because you're going to be euthanized otherwise. The switches in here. Wait, was that the switch? Did I just do something? Um. Yeah. Hi. Was that one of them? No? Oh, these move. Oh. Uh. Okay, so just make them green. Ta-da! What? Oh, hey. There's one. I'm sitting here like, what am I succeeding at, exactly? Oh, are you like a little escape room game? What is this? Oh yeah, there's like sliding panels everywhere moving around. Oh, I... <laughs> seeing the cut, the image on the cover, I totally thought it was a horror game. Whoops. So there's some stuff I can manually interface with to, and open it, and other stuff that I have to open via doing something? Uh, what happened when I did those? Oh, you move. So they only go up and down. They won't go left and right. These will go left and right. What? Okay. So I guess this is the correct configuration for that screen. It's connected red, connected blue. There we go. Three connected. Okay. Huh. Cool. I guess that one was already correct. How do I open you? <laughs> I don't know what, why, it's just the quiet to loud can be startling. Okay, I'll just crouch through here and, I don't know, die? I have to pray moon crash, I'm not trusting these kinds of things. Oh no, that's what I am, I'm a volunteer from prey. Oh. Click on the... Oh, just don't oh, click on the door. I opened it by touching it, I guess? Hi. I'm a sucker for animated doors that have like a bunch of little moving chunks in them. Oh? Oh? And fade out. The gas has taken hold. Hmm? Hey. Oh, this is a big old place. Got them techno tubes and whatnot. Click. Uh oh. What have I done? 
three, four, five. Is it gonna be like that? Five. Oh. Shit. Gotta memorize that sequence. Oh, I guess not. The first two stayed pressed. You can only, only can press them in the right order. Do I, have a, I don't have a flashlight. Oh, I have a sprint mechanic, though. Door opens? Uh-oh. What have I done? Doesn't seem to be opening. I, I'd like to be out of the claustrophobic room now. I can't see in that direction. It's a spooky game. You are special. No, I'm not. I'm the 100th person that's come through here, probably. The other ones are all, probably all dead now. I know space corporations. They're even wor they're even worse than cyberpunk corporations, and that's saying something. Cyberpunk corporations are fucked. But space, space corporations? Duh. That's where we get to- that's where we get to prey. And alien. And they some really extra suck. Activation Shurin Amada Willerim Arc. Okay. Oh, oh, I got that now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can I have lights? Don't worry, this is safe. No, I can't see anything. Oh, there's a map up there. Data port access. Well, this place is all lit up. Oh, cool. Horrible blood stains. That's... That's a good sign. Yeah. Cool, I found where somebody must have died. Yeah, so as expected. And all the pads are, like, ripped off the walls. I'm going into this so blind, I genuinely don't know if there's a monster or not. <laughs> I don't know what genre this game is. I just went in. And that's somehow almost better. Look at the colorful lights that don't murder me, please. Can't open that. Still figuring out which things are interactive. A creepy dark area. How you doing? Where am I? What is... What is happening? What is love? Is, there, is this closed? Oh, you can walk... Nope, you can't walk in. Oh, that's creepier. What have I done? Did that open this one? No. Look how colorful that doorway is. Can I interact with it? The lights? The clicky lights? No? Not this time. Shurin. Wasn't I supposed to activate Shurin? Yeah, so this must be the entryway to Shurin, which is importante. Access key 1111. Oh shit, no. I've got to know what the access key is before I can continue. Uh, open thing that looks important. Mechanical. Hmm. I need a code. Testing room Shurin. More blood. The I guess the test already began, right? I'm supposed to not know what's going on? Because they just dumped me in here. Remember to scan. I don't know how to scan yet. I'm working on that. Hey. I'm not totally comfortable with these things like closing on me. The lack of apparent function of those spaces makes me wonder if they're like a monster closet place to hide in. When things come after me.
Options. I was gonna look at like settings, but I guess I mean uh, I was gonna look at uh, controls, but perhaps that's not an option. Remember to scan. That means something to someone. Maybe this labyrinth is the entire game. You gotta unpack it all. Like mist. Figure out what it all means. And where to go with it. At this point, I think I'm just in a big old dead end. I was just trying to find one through six that has not... Not, has not been lucky so far. Those don't open. Alright, this was the other hallway. When the blood first showed up. Hey! You are here. Thank you. I am here. Okay, that's... Uh, let's go away from the creepy. What are those lights doing when I tr I'm just flipping switches here and there. And th you can't flip them back, so it's definitely me like progress of some sort when I do that. Are you somewhere I should hide if it... Seven, three, eight, two. Seven, three, eight, two, is that the code? What the fuck? You're not even a person, you're pretending to be a person. Can't click on these. <laughs> the f fuck did that mean? Hey, it's one of you guys. Three. Hey. Seven, three, eight. I was not expecting that to button to press. That startled the shit out of me. Uh. Seven, three, eight, two. Only one way to know, right? Let's just run all the way back there and try to use it. Seven, three, eight, two. This game looks way better than I was expecting. <laughs> I was just hopping in for a quick one-off episode. I'm like, let's just take a look at this. I'm like, wait, this is a really articulate looking setting and like a nice art style to it. And it's like an... It might be like some kind of like non-linear puzzle solving space station. I'm like, oh, hello. That's my jam. Seven, three, eight, two. Oh, that was the right one. Do I get my scanner now? <gasps> oh, <laughs> it revealed bad things. Cool. Well, I have a light now. Mechanical, mechanical, mechanical. The only thing in the mechanical drawer is a flashlight. Cool. Seven. Three. Uh, I, sh I should not want to go this way. You know? Not the worst time to save, right? Oh, remember to scan. We're back. Oh, right, I went down here already. Oh, the red thing. Ding, ding. Yeah, the game seemed... It, there, it felt all hand-holdy and stuff for a while there, right? That quickly went, get, went away. Because it seems like the premise is to throw me into a... a crazy puzzle scenario and not tell me anything. And then just test how I react? What's this? Timer reset. Timer reset. Timer. Boy, that's the thing that makes me not die. So whenever... Does this charge my battery? Uh oh. Do I run out of flashlight battery too? The arc. Testing room arc. There must be some process for activating them. Man, those red buttons could be very missable. Just kind of hiding amongst the slope of the floor. I've probably missed one already. 
or more. So we were just there. I mean, I guess I might as well click on it again. It sounds like it's what saves, even though you can kind of manually save, I guess. But it was set up as this thing you're supposed to do to not die. But then that hasn't come up yet. But we'll see, I guess. Alright, I did all that and I got the thing I wanted to get, which is I have a flashlight now. That's something. Now I can see what the hell is happening down here. Access gate 1. I flipped this. Like there's a green light activation sequence and there's a red panel activate or red button activation sequence. Or it's just something where when I find a new one it tells me progress, I guess. Just some kind of affirmative sound happens then you can't unpress it. But then there's also the sequence where I have to press a bunch of buttons in the correct order. Which they might be kind of designed to just indicate, hey, this is the correct order to play the game in, or something. Now I can piece right out of here back to the basic area and be like, I have a light now. This opens up some possibilities in that original hub. So that might be the order, Shura, Namada, Willem, Ark. Can't click on them though. That's a charge spot. Access gate controller, switch those four things on. So that's probably the one, uh... It could be the green switches and it could be the... Yeah, the there was a save location here the whole time. It could be the green buttons and it could be the red buttons. I think I found two of both. I might have found three greens. Oh, there's one. Now I'll know. It's the green buttons. Because that's at least my third red button. Being sneaky, huh? Hiding them right behind there. Hmm. Thank you for your compliance. Biomass Labs. I don't like that this is the spooky one. I also don't like your company is called Biomass. What a name. Are you named after the mass of bodies that you've left in your wake, you fucks? Like, what is the blood for? <laughs> Six. Oh, Wrong one. The manual save points that are on the walls definitely remind me of the save points from Alien Isolation, and also so does the entire pl setting of the game. Which just makes me expect bad things to happen even more. I don't know what I'm charging. I hope it's not my flashlight, because that means that it can run out of charge. Cool. Six part combination. Keep you in mind. Button. Last one, maybe? Four. <sighs> I found four, five, and six. I forgot where four w I forgot where five was. But I know where six is, because it's like right around the corner. Genome Research Division. Uh oh. You guys go make a monster? You guys going around making monsters? Blue button. Oh, that's just a light. I've seen that before. Where was the previous button? I've seen it. Yeah, there's six. It was somewhere near the origin. Right up in there. Don't like sound. Stop make sound. No. No sound have. Please. Don't make bad sounds. Five.
Definitely running, a lot of running up and down hallways. Feels kind of pointless for a puzzle game to be so spaced out, but it might. That's why I th keep thinking there might be some gameplay. Uh... Oh no! Was that the bad button? Fuck. Fuck. It just told me how to run. I just released the bad. No. Cool. This is how we die. This is how we die. Die. Can I have a gun, please? Fuck me. I heard sound, I didn't like it. Oh cool, I'm also dying of the other thing. No like. No like. <laughs> Don't want play more. No. Shit. Access gate four. God, so much of this location would be me. I would just be trapped if the thing came after me. A lot of dead ends. Uh, I don't like thinking about it. You are. Sp is this where it came from? Probably. Maybe it's a fake out. <laughs> Maybe the game's just having a sense of humor to fuck with me and the monster's not real. Like there's a story monster I've released that'll show up later for story reasons, but isn't like in the game game maybe. Testing room will room. Hello? Alright, that did that. Game's so quiet until it's not. What did I do? What did I accomplish here? Some weird lights and knobs and that thing. Made a pressure sound. It does feel like these might be hiding spots you're supposed to use from the bad thing. Like, maybe he won't get me in here. <laughs> it's comfortable in here. It's cozy. Alright, well, this has been the subject. Not sure where it's going. Intriguing little game. Uh, thanks to the developers for sending me the code for the game, and if you want to check it out for yourself, there's a link to the Steam page in the description. Thanks for watching like always guys, and I will see you next time.